Hey, you're with Jacob from Sin, and we are currently in Brisbane for Big Sound right now, and we're hanging out at the Wickham, and I am joined by Ali, who is the guitarist and singer for Darts. How are you doing today, Ali? Good, good. Hot, but good. It's been boiling today, <laughs> yeah, hasn't it? Well, coming from Melbourne to here, big, like, big sea change. I made the trek, too. <laughs> it's, it's so cold in Melbourne lately, too. Well, it hey. was like, you know, on the drive down to the airport, it was kind of like snowing a little bit yeah 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 so it was a rude awakening when we got here that's for sure that is crazy <laughs> okay so this is like your second time playing big sound you initially played in 2015 how does it yep. feel to be back it's good it's good it's um you know exactly how i remember it and more um we just you know we have a lot of fun while we're here and, and try and get around and see a lot of the bands and um yeah it's more of a holiday sort of thing for us really cool <laughs> yeah. do you have any favorite acts that you've seen like over the course of the festival so far um we saw Good Morning last night. They nice. were really good. Yeah, they're really pretty good, good. Hey. Yeah, they're probably the standout so far for me. Sick. Yeah. Love it. So I couldn't make it the first time you played in 2015, but I heard that you blew the crowd away. Um, did you have any expectations kind of coming back this time? Did you, ever, did you feel kind of daunted, I guess, returning back to the stage? Um, it, I think we were a little bit more relaxed this time. Like the first time for Big Sound, you know, we know it's... You know, it's a platform where there's a lot of networking, there's a lot of important people coming to see your shows. So we really rehearsed hard and, um, you know, really prepared quite, you know, we were stringent on our, on our whole, whole process coming in. Um, yeah. This time was a lot more relaxed and I think we're having, you know, a lot more fun. Yeah, this time around. That's awesome. Well, I caught your set last night and it was incredible. But you, yeah, you played two yesterday and you're playing a few more uh, in the days to come. How is everything going? How was the reception for those? It was pretty good, yeah. It was a lot better than we um, than we anticipated. So you know that's always great. Um, it's it's hard playing you know multiple shows in a day. Yeah. Um, you know, it, I think we have more energy for the second one, which is you know odd. But we all had a nap in between the two shows. So, but Very it's nice. definitely taxing. Very taxing. That's really cool. <laughs> How do you kind of prepare for playing multiple shows in one go? You can't. You just kind of have to you know take it easy throughout the day. Obviously, not drink too much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and the naps in between definitely help. Yeah, none of naps. Yeah, what do you naps. think is like the ideal time to have a nap? Do you reckon? I usually go twenty <sighs> minutes. Yeah, see, well, I did like forty-five minutes yesterday. Nice. That was nice. good. Okay. That was good. So I think if you go over the hour, that's yeah, you know, you're kind of done for. Wake up feeling pretty average. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about the sets again. Are you kind of changing them up each time you play, or is it kind of the same set? We are changing them up. Um, you know, we have a, a couple of singles out at the moment, so we're trying to incorporate, um, you know, a, a little bit of that, and as well as, you know, some new stuff that's, you know, really quite fresh. Um, I think it helps us sort of to bring a new energy to the show. You know, we enjoy playing new stuff a lot more than, you know, the old stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> well, yeah, let's talk about, like, the older stuff for a little bit. So, yeah, sure. back in 2015, you put out your amazing debut, Below Empty and Westward Bound. And personally, it was my favorite record of that year. It was heartfelt. It was incredible. And uh, I loved it. Thank but you. you kind of, as a band, went really quiet after yeah. that and didn't really do a lot. What yeah, was the story behind that? Did you want to go into it a little bit? Yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> we did. We went back into the studio after after that. You know, we did um, tour a little bit around that record. Went back into the studio, recorded another album. Um, but you know, at at the end of it, you know, we all kind of sat in a room, listened to it through song by song, and you know, everyone got to say their piece on on it. And you know, by the end of it, the ov overriding feeling was we weren't 100% happy with with what you know we'd done. Um, you know, the the album as a whole. So. Um, yeah, we kind of, we picked a couple of favourites, um, we released those, and and we're kind of going back to the drawing board again. Yeah. yeah, so it's, it has taken a long time, but, but you know, we want it to be right at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like creative-wise, and I guess being able to look at these songs, I guess more objectively after sitting on them for a while and making new stuff, do you find that it's kind of helping the creative process now, or...? Definitely, I think, you know, we gave ourselves a lot of time to think, you know, think what we really wanted, you know, what we did wrong going in, you know, the previous time and, and how we can sort of, you know, look back on that and not make the same mistakes. And, and I think we're, we're really thinking through things a lot more, um, focusing on, you know, things that we didn't have in, in that aspect, like our dynamics and, and that sort of thing. So it, it's definitely helping us to, 
produce better songs, songs that we're we're happy with and happy to perform and put out there. Awesome. And I also heard you built your own studio in your hometown of Bendigo. Is yes. that finished? How was that whole experience of making that? Um, it, look, the hardest part was cleaning the garage out, <laughs> 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 which, you know, we left mainly to the boys. Um, but, yeah, no, it was really fun. It, it, you know, once it was cleared out, we laid some carpet. Um, we bought a PA system. We, nice. You know, we have, like, a little, a little uh, recording set up there. So it was, yeah, it was fun. And... You know, it kind of gives us the opportunity to spend as long as we want in there. It's not, you know, we can spend weekends, we can spend, you know, evenings in there. It's, it's really, you know, our, our playground, um, and it's free, so it gives us, you know, a lot more room to move, money-wise, and um, yeah, you know, that can go into the, the next record. So, being not rushed in that aspect, yeah. you know, we have, we have a lot of time to to do what we want to do. So. I think it's definitely helped us a lot. <laughs> awesome. Um, we've also just got some brand new music from you too. You put out two singles in August and kind of surprised everyone. Yes. Uh, you released Cinderblock and Distance Equals Infinity. Why did you choose to release two singles at once? And why these two, I guess, in particular? Well, uh, you know, going back to, to, as I was saying before, we had um, uh, a record that you know, we weren't 100% happy with. These yeah. two songs were the standout for, for every every member. Um, and we really just wanted to get, you know, some content out there, as you said. You know, we had a, a yeah. big quiet period and, and um, we felt that if we put those two songs out there, you know, it kind of will carry us over until the next album comes out. And, and it's, you know, songs that we were really happy with, happy to put out. Wonderful. Did a lot change, I guess, from the conception from when you had recorded them for this kind of unreleased record till now? A little bit, like, um, I don't know, we, not much really changes in the way of our concepts. I think, you know, we, we all have the same, same sort of things that we're writing about and thinking about and feeling when we're, when we're recording. So not a lot has changed. It's more, um, you know, the dynamics of our songs and, and, and that sort of side of things, I suppose. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that dynamic. So the new songs, you know, definitely sound like darts, but, um, there's been a little bit of a change in sound. I almost feel like it's kind of more, I guess, ambient in the way it sounds, and in certain parts it sounds, I mean, a little bit more restrained than some of the stuff you did on your debut record. And I think it's a really good evolution and a good continuation of that sound. And, um, you know, I just kind of wanted to know, is the rest of the stuff you're going to be doing kind of like this, and how did you kind of come to to getting to that sound? I yeah, guess? sure. So it's, it's definitely an evolution. It's something that... Um, you know, we did kind of have to step back and say, okay, you know, we have, we have great ideas. We have, um, you know, a, a pretty big lineup. You know, we have five people in. Yeah, the that's band a lot. And it's hard to sometimes, you know, um, work with with each instrument. You know, you you want each each instrument to really pop in certain parts. And we did. You know, we rest restrained a lot of the guitars sometimes, so the keys can really pop and and focusing on that dynamic. Like a lot of the songs that we had. Um, on Westward Bound were written before we had a keys player so yeah. you know um, giving giving that particular side of you know the sound you know a real area to pop in it was important so we did have to sort of um, you know reteach ourselves how to yeah. how to write songs and how to really get those you know the sounds that we want and the dynamic that we want that's really cool, though. Yeah. And, I mean, like, you've been currently, well, as we were saying before, I mean, you've been writing and demoing a lot of songs now. Yeah. I mean, how are they all coming along? And how many songs are you guys currently working on at the moment? Oh, God, I think we have we have about 12 from oh memory wow, at the okay. moment. But, again, you know, as I said, the studio helps us because we can, we can do a demo, we can listen to it and say, okay, let's change this part, let's, you know, work this part out a little bit better. Um, so, yeah, I guess... <laughs> really cool. <laughs> and, like, you're finally back now, so can we expect any more shows anytime soon, aside from the Big Sound ones? We're going to do a release party in Melbourne at some point. Um, it'll it'll be big. We'll have our, our singles launched in a, in a warehouse. We'll Sick. We'll, we'll announce that shortly, and we're going to head to Sydney as well and, and do a few dates up there. Um, nothing set in stone yet, but... Yeah, keep an eye out. Incredible. <laughs> well, thanks so much for having a chat with me today, Ali. It was incredible. No uh, you've been watching Jacob from Sin, and we've been talking to Ali from Darts, and we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>